Uh, this is uh, our treatment for Mr. Blue Sky. Um, what song have we chosen and why? We have chosen to create a music video from the song Mr. Blue Sky by the Electric Light, or Electric Light Orchestra. We have picked this song because we feel that this song, that does not have a music video, should be presented in this format. We hope to give the song a new spell of life for a younger audience, but also for whilst also allowing the older generations to listen to a hit in the 80s. Uh, the concept of the video, um, it's both performance and narrative. Uh, the elements of, perform of performance is all to do with the visuals. So we've got lots of landscapes and long shots that we're going to use for that. Um, we've got a breakfast scene at the beginning, so it's all going to be very decorative for a bit of visual. Um, the elements of narrative, we've got the choir singing and a man running, so there's lots of small narratives and small people's stories throughout the uh, video. Um, and we also want to establish a nice tone for this, so um, we'll try and record when there's good weather to help with this. Um, and we'll have multiple shots of landscapes and the blue sky, as well as many shots of people having a good time in order to add to the general mood of the video. Um, where will it take place? How will it look? Um, our music video is going to be shot in Shipley College. We're going to use the boarding houses and possibly the classrooms on site as well. We're going to do it on a sunny day so it establishes a good mood, fitting with the song. We're also going to use longer establishing shots to help show the location of the video and where everything, where everywhere is that is involved. Um, we'll also use point of view shots as well to allow the audience to empathise with the video. Um, and we want to have a calming tone like the song. We're going to try and achieve this by filming on a winter sunny day. This means that there'll be like some misted areas around, so it looks slightly chill, but the sun will make it look brighter. And we will also change the contrast in some of the shots once we start editing, so we can so we can get the right look. How do you intend to represent your artists or characters? There are no specific characters throughout our video but we do have narrative elements. For example, at the beginning we have a character having breakfast and in another scene we have a character running down the avenue. Um, we intend to create a band and use them as a representation of the real band throughout the video. And we're also going to use some high angle shots to represent the characters in different ways. For example, their level of importance in the video. Um, is, if there is a narrative, uh, what does it include? Uh, there are many different stories occurring in the video. Um, so there's not just one story that's consistently throughout. Um, uh, the audience is able to view multiple stories and multiple people's days that, that go on. For example, we'll see a man who looks out of his window at the beginning. He'll then go out and stretch uh, wearing um, running clothes and then go for a run. So we just see their, so we see their days in the, the life of the day. Um, use of having many different stories for the audience to witness allows us to establish a better mood to the video as it uh, enables the audience to see multiple examples of how to enjoy um, a blue sky day. Uh, in addition, it also provides a nice image for the audience to enjoy. Target audience. Our, our target audience is for people over the age of 35. The reason for this was because the song was released in 1978. Uh, this, this, will this target will target audience members over the age of 40. However, due to the song's uh, appearance in popular culture in films such as uh, The Magic Roundabout, uh, we expect to see a large number of our audience to be below 40 as well. It should account for most social groups as the genre of music is not considered to be more popular with any one social group. <clears throat> we believe that the audience will come back to the video because there is no other video for the song, along with the upbeat and happy nature of the tune. If the song can make people happy, then this is a great a uh, great way to make the audience want you to come back and watch it again and again. Any questions? Where are you getting your inspirations from for kind of the look of the video? We're kind of going, we're looking at not typical, not typical things for the, the, you know, when the song was originally written, but we're looking for the modern day interpretations, so, which are quite over the top, so we're looking at the, the one on eight characters, uh, people like that, to try and um, to try and make new, make the video a bit kind of cheek, but also to um, to highlight when when these songs meant to be set and take it out of the 
but almost takes it out of the 21st century, but we want to, you know, we want to make it clear that actually it's still in 2015 or 2014. Okay. And um, with your target audience being fairly, you know, quite older than the typical um, sort of mainstream music audience, um, do you think that a music video is a way that, that's going to attract them? Is that going to, do you think that's, that group of people watch music videos as part of their kind of day-to-day -day lives? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, YouTube is very popular. I mean, mainly with the younger generation, yes. And then on, there, will, there will be, the younger generation will want to come and see this. There is no other video, as George said, but for the older generation, you know, there's still ways in which they can watch it. Okay. But also, people in our target audience can, you know, are, are able to use modern technology, you know, if we, our target audience was much older, then we would say, well, maybe a music video isn't what we need to be doing for this song, but because of actually the age of them, they aren't too old to understand how this all works, and um, to make sure they understand how to use YouTube and watch that sort of music, uh, those sorts of TV channels and radio stations, things like that. Okay, great.